Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Minister Sonia Kyle, God's reality poet, coming at you this morning with some scripture, with some poetry, with some encouraging words. So, you know how this goes. We never get started without the reading of God's word. So let's get started. We all make many mistakes, but those who control their tongues can also control themselves in every way. That's James 3, 2. The name of this poem that I wrote and will be reciting is called My Sister's Keeper. Greetings, my fellow sisters. Let's get down to it. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here to get us through it. If you're listening in today, it was meant to be. My prayer is that this message will bless you and me. 1 Corinthians 10, 12 says, So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. Brothers, you can listen in. But sisters, I'm talking to y'all. This message may cause me to be disliked or shunned, but the truth must be presented or our battles can't be won. All shades, all colors, from the poorest to the riches. It's the year 2020 and we still behaving like witches, controlling and manipulating and pulling the strings, wanting our own way by any means. Going on social media and tearing each other down entertaining the masses like circus clowns. That ain't her real hair, and she ain't all that. Girl, she so thin, or wow, she so fat. Yeah, I'm coming down your street before this poem is through, asking God to break the strongholds on me and you. The power of life and death is in what we say. I'm going to get down where we live at in this poem today. I say this in love, and although it may cut, we are more than our lips, our hair and our butts, more than our positions or the handles on our name. I'm here to speak the truth. I don't do this for fame. Because you have a title and you possess a degree, you don't put your panties on no different than me. Don't email me about the word panties because panties is not a sin. It's what you're doing with the panties and who you and who and what you're letting in. Now, back to how we snub and shade each other when we ought to be praying and fasting for one another. See, whether you were raised in the projects or a big house with a view, because you have designer possessions, it doesn't make you new. Red bottoms, they won't save your soul. Neither will Michael Kors purses, diamonds, or gold. Clowning other women won't make you shine bright. But what it will do is keep us in fight. And that is exactly what the devil wants us to do. Because he gets a hook in our families directly through me and you. Remember how he played us in Genesis chapter 3? That move was designed to destroy you and me. So sisters, we must be careful in our day-to-day -day operations. If we want the will of God in our day-to-day -day situations. It's not about being hard or it's not about being tough. I can say these things because I'm an ex whole lot of stuff, as many of us are. And so, yes, it's our jobs, if we've been delivered from something by the Most High God, to let our light shine by the way we behave instead of acting like we are ashamed to be blood bought and saved, too dignified to praise, too prideful to repent. Too stubborn to tell how our stories really went. We want increase and reward without any breaking. Batting our eyelashes, fronting and faking. It's like putting on clean clothes without washing our behinds. We must have a cleansing of the heart and the mind. And nobody on earth can do that job. That's something that can only be done by God. Not the surface stuff that we say we pray about but the things that secretly grip us like fear and doubt, jealous of the next woman and what the world perceives as nice when we might not be willing to pay her heavy price. Why is she this? And why is she that? Plotting to knock the next woman off track. Yes, I'm telling it. It's time out for playing church. End time is close, so we had better get to work. Our men and children, they need us to be fasting and praying. The devil is still in souls and he ain't playing. We should be praying against the things that tears families apart. And looking at ourselves, that's a good place to start. 
We can't tell our daughters and granddaughters not to be sleeping around for pay when we still tipping around in our cougarish ways. We can't tell them not to dress and act like whores when they see different folks in and out our doors. When mature women dress like teenagers, now that's where we drop the ball because a lot of women are walking around in clothes that are too small. Our sons and daughters are not as slow as we like to pretend. And we have to tell the truth if we want to win. The enemy hides in generational curses. But many of us don't know that because we hide behind our shoes and purses. We hide behind titles, money, and cruises. But sisters, we have to address these spiritual bruises by owning and forgiving our part in how we sinned. If you don't understand, then I'll come again. The selective amnesia that most of us get about how we were betrayed and how we were bit. Yes, circumstances may have left us with a broken heart, but God won't move until we do our part. Forgive others like we want to be forgiven. It is then and only then that we will begin to start living. So let's stop the backbiting and catfighting and man stealing and drama dealing, smiling in your face while covering your life, believing the lies a man says about his wife, stepping on other women to satisfy our desires in the name of success and wanting to go higher is the very thing the devil would have us to believe that we have to be foul in order to achieve. See, when the devil gives favors, he's coming to collect. It is then that we want God to show up and protect. But the payment and the principle, they will come due. And sisters, please believe that it's coming for me and you. So let us ask Jesus today to help us improve, to stop being so nasty, bitter, and rude. To stop stepping on others so that we may be first. To break the spirit of that Jezebel curse. Controlling and manipulating from behind the scenes. I won't elaborate. Because y'all know what I mean. Pray for other women who have been wounded or hurt. And Lord, help us to stop throwing so much shade and dirt. I know the world does it, but check this out. Maturing in Jesus Christ, that's what this is about. You may be saying, who is this sister talking to? If you're not interested in God's way, I'm not talking to you. To be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. That's holy scripture. I'm just flowing this truth so that we can get the picture. Yes, people will laugh and snub us too, but God will contend against those who contend against you. So don't try to repay because vengeance belongs to God and he does not need us to help, us do his, to help him do his job. We can't ask for God's help in our lives while cutting down other folks, making other sisters pain the center of our jokes, rolling our eyes and refusing to speak. That is only an indication that your spirit is weak. Hurt people hurt people. This much is true, but I'm talking about me and I'm talking about you. We need to ask God for grace concerning these things and don't knock it until you try it. See what it brings. Grace to stop cutting other sisters to the core. Grace to see what God is calling us for. Lord, give us the courage to stop gossiping and to say when we're wrong. Courage to leave other women's husbands alone. Courage to stop having such a nasty attitude. Courage to quit being so messy and rude. Courage to identify and to stop comparing. Courage to stop being selfish and courage to start sharing. Courage to stop swimming in the river of denial. Courage to help the next sister overcome her trials. Courage to do what God says is right. Courage to help another sister when she's in a tight. Courage to think before we speak. You see, God is strong when we are weak. I pray that someone listening has been spiritually fed. I'm flowing what I'm flowing because it need to be said. I needed to hear it if no one else, because I realized that change starts with self. How can we say we love God whom we've never seen. But when it comes to our sisters, we are vicious and mean. God will do the watering and we will do the growing. But we must have faith that God is all-knowing. He knows where we're strong and he knows where we're weak. 
we will surely find if we surely seek. Seek God's presence and seek his word. God is able. Haven't you heard? He's the Alpha, the Omega, the creator of all things. He's grace and mercy. He's king of all kings. God made us women and he loves us too. You pray for me and I'll be praying for you. The pray with the A, not with the E, because you are your sister's keeper, you see. I'm God's reality poet. And for those who didn't know, help another sister. It's the rhythm of the flow. Much love to you all and have a great day. And if you can't help your sister friend, don't hurt her, okay? Choosing the way of Jesus Christ will be our best route. Thank you for your support and God is love. I'm out.